everyone, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a good time. Today, we are going to talk about clown. Those cute puffy thingies you see in... Yeah, in movies. You know, uh, clouds. You see them every day. We know them. So, you might be thinking what's super interesting about clouds. Now, one thing for starters, you know how movies always portray clouds to be soft and squishy? You can lie down on them and it'll feel like a blanket? No, actually. Clouds are actually really hard. And how do I know that? Because clouds are composed of water droplets and ice crystals. Ice is not something that's soft. It's not. So when you lie down on it, it ain't going to be squishy. Like your comforter or blanket or mattress or whatever. So anyways... Clouds are also, mentioning that, clouds are composed of water droplets, ice crystals, and other stuff. Yeah. Now, every cloud has its own particular shape. Now, this could be random. It could be looking like a dog. It could be looking like a dinosaur. It could be looking like a bird. Depends on how you look at it. I guess, I guess if you just, okay, okay, never mind. So you know how clouds, water droplets, ice crystals, yada yada yada. But do you know how clouds make the sky look different? Ice crystals, which are also in clouds and in the sky, reflect the sun's rays. And then they reflect it into... The sun, it comes in multi, in the, all the colors of the rainbow. So when it reflects, the most powerful color, which is blue reflects on to the a sky. That's how the sky is blue. Sometimes. It could be also dark. Now, mentioning dark, you know how, how black clouds, how they look? Yeah. Black clouds, they're, uh, the reason for they're black is because of the amount of water inside of them. Black clouds are composed of a lot of water. That's why we get rain. And when a cloud gets too heavy and has so much water, will start to let go of that water and will come down as rain, fleets, as rain, hail, or snow. Depends. So maybe even sleet. So as it comes down, mentioning rain, snow, uh, hail, sleet, let me just take a moment to say, uh, talk about hail. Hail is just ice crystals, just huge ice blocks. It can be small, it can be huge can be really huge. Now, hail is a nuisance for anyone who, ha who has... A if you're living in a country that has hail a lot, it ha you probably know how much of a nuisance it is. When the hail just comes down on your car, it dents your car, it can be also very dangerous. Because when you're walking outside and then suddenly it starts hailing, one big ice block falls on your head, boom, two concussions. You have to go to the hospital. So, with that being said, let's take a minute to go away from concussions and go on to something else. Another thing in movies. Remember how you can apparently jump from cloud to cloud? Well, yeah. You know, what will happen in reality? You probably hurt your foot a lot. But speaking of which, it depends whether you can even jump if the cloud's far away. But you can even jump there. Now, there actually are different levels of clouds, like in terms of height. There's high-level clouds, mid-level clouds, and low-level clouds. Clouds are also important for many reasons. You might think that there's no reason for clouds. They're just there. Actually, clouds produce rain and snow and are important. Cloud at, during the night, clouds reflect the heat to keep the, reflect heat to keep the ground warmer. During the daytime, Clouds provide shade to keep us cooler. You might have noticed like lines of clouds in the sky. Those are caused by airplanes. Pretty common knowledge. Those are called contrails. So with that being said, I think it should be good enough to end this video. And I wish you all a happy Hari Raya for all my Malay fans out there. Um, have a good time. Enjoy life. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like. And see you all in the next video. Bye. Have a good time.